welcome back to my youtube channel it's a pleasure to be on your screen once again if you are seeing me for the very first time i am olukunle itinu by name i create content around beauty lifestyle and content creation tips so if that sounds like something you are interested in then why not get subscribed to this channel and also turn on the notification bell then binge on my old videos quickly today i want to share with you mistakes you should avoid as a new youtuber so i'll be sharing them based on my experience based on the mistakes that i made when i was still starting up or when i just started up my youtube journey one mistake you want to avoid as a new youtuber is uploading short videos now that sounds like okay i'm going to explain quickly now imagine you have two minutes video and a 10 minutes video YouTube algorithm decides to pick both videos and each video has 10,000 views. Now, which of this video do you think would have a higher watch hour? Like, which of them? Of course, people would not watch your two minute video finish. They won't watch it till the end. They would not also watch your 10 minutes video to the end. But there is a tendency that there is an average watch um, time of five minutes. Yes, for your 10 minute video. And for the two minutes video, you have an average watch time of one minute and few seconds. So which of them do you think would have more watch hour? yeah so it's advisable as a youtuber as a new youtuber to upload long videos that is one reason another reason is because when that video blows up or when your channel gets monetized on shorter videos less than eight minutes you cannot place more than two hearts on them and the more hearts you have on your videos the more money you are making as long as people do not skip those ads so try to look at your channel in the future don't put out content on your channel for the present moment. That's why I would not really advise you put out short videos because you never can tell which video will blow up, which video YouTube is going to pick up and is going to do well for your channel. Yeah. So that's one thing I made, one mistake I made then. I was like, okay, short video, people will watch and quickly get out. Like, okay, we are coming back next time. But I was wrong because in the long run, it's not going to pay me at all. Another mistake you do not want to make is not titling your videos well. Now, you are making a video on how to wear a simple makeup. You don't just write makeup routine. You have to niche it down. You have to niche that video down and title it properly. Use keywords. I use um, this app, VidIQ for my keywords because I, then I didn't know anything about keywords. I was just titling my videos wrongly. It wasn't helping at all because people would search for what they actually want. So if you title your video properly and that is what someone is searching, there's a tendency that YouTube suggests your video to that person. So that is why you need to learn the act of titling your videos properly. Before you title your video based on the kind of video it is, I want to share with you this little secret of mine, what I do to get good video titles. What I do is I go on YouTube, I search for that particular type of content that I made. I would check and see how other people titled that. Then I pick different keywords from those videos and I use them to make up my video title. That is what I do. Because when people watch those videos, I search that is in relation to the kind of video I made. There is a probability of YouTube suggesting my video after they must have watched those videos. So do not make a mistake of not titling your videos properly. Another mistake you shouldn't make is not using cards and end screen. I have a video on how you can use cards and end screen. I'm going to link it up here. So you should check it out. Cards and end screens help your viewer to stay glued to your channel in a way or the other. Now, this is it. Now, when you use cards, now that link that popped up is called a card. Now, when you click on that link, it is going to direct you to my other video. So, there is a high probability that 
you would check out that video because i already directed you to that video and because you enjoyed this current video you are watching you would want to watch that because you know okay in this one i gained value i gained something i really enjoyed it for that reason you would want to check out the video that was linked so it is advisable that you use cards and end screen as a new youtuber because it directs your viewer to your old videos and it's just going to help you build your watch hour and all of that good stuff the next mistake you should avoid is being inconsistent now you are starting up your youtube channel do not come here put a video out once in a month do not do that please before you start your youtube channel you should have at least three videos ready made edited and ready to be uploaded for your viewers do not start your youtube channel with just one video because that way you might not be consistent with it if you are here to make money on youtube then one thing you really need is consistency don't come and upload once in a month or once in two months but if you have that number already you can do it because we do not have time for youtube always that is why it is advisable to have content available on ground so i have a video on things you should know things you should do before you start up a youtube channel and it's going to be linked up here please do check that video out as well it is packed i dropped gems in that video so avoid that inconsistency kind of thing you have to be consistent on youtube because when you are consistent people would be interested in you they would know you are serious with your youtube channel if you are not serious with your youtube channel people would not be serious with you that is just the simple thing about it you have to be consistent if you want people to stay glued to your channel not the one they'll watch a video from you this month and the next time they are seeing a video from you is in two months time it's not going to really help your channel as a new youtuber another mistake you should not make is not using tags now you might think what's it now on instagram you use tags right tags help you to get to a wider range of audience that is exactly what tags on youtube does as well this one helps you to get to a wider range of audience it suggests your video to people make sure that the tag you are using contains keywords in that video if you are making a video on sleek ponytail attach it to your hashtag make it sleek ponytail make it ponytail make it sleek like hashtag sleek hashtag ponytail hashtag sleek ponytail hashtag natural hairstyles hashtag protective styles use tags that are related to your video that way those that really need that kind of content when they search up for it on youtube there is a 1001 possibility that youtube suggests your video to that kind of person now youtube does not suggest video to people based on your number of subscribers no as long as the engagement on your video is good and you use the right things you use the right um thumbnail you use the right hashtags you use the right keywords in titling your video there is a 1001 possibility that youtube we will suggest your video to that particular person that is searching for that kind of content that is why you need to use tags in your videos so another thing you should note is use very very good thumbnail at the moment i'm still struggling with making very good thumbnail because thumbnail tends to attract people to your video even when your title is not so strong when they see that thumbnail they would be attracted to it so try to invest in good thumbnail try to learn how to make nice thumbnail i have a video on that on apps you can use to edit your videos to edit your pictures and your thumbnails included it's going to be linked up here you can just simply check my playlist on content creation everything is packed in that playlist next one i would advise you do not do which is like the most important is focusing more on your subscriber count than your watch hour it really really affected me and it is really affecting me till date like do not focus on your subscriber getting 1000 
subscriber is quite easy but not so easy but your watch hour that is the most difficult so focus more on achieving that 4000 watch hour that is if you are here to make money on youtube but if you are here to just have fun then it's fine but if you are here to make money on youtube focus more on getting that watch hour that is why you have to upload longer videos so when people watch your watch hour increases do not focus more on your subscriber counts because it's not going to help you really 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 well but the more your subscriber active subscribers the more your active subscribers the more your watch hour grows the better it is for your channel these are few mistakes i want you to avoid as a new youtuber if you are watching this video and you are not a new youtuber and you want to share some mistakes you think new youtubers should avoid please kindly drop them in the comment section also let me know in the comment section which of these mistakes i mentioned you made as a new youtuber thank you for watching this video remember to get subscribed and turn on the notification bell i will catch you up in my next video bye